Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about PhD admissions through GATE score and through your GATE result. So I know the video is quite delayed and uh, those who are there on Instagram, those who follow me on Instagram, they already know the reason. And if you are not there on Instagram, the Instagram ID is right there on your screen. You can follow me there as well. And uh, yeah, there were reasons and that's why I was not able to record this video and I was not able to uh, like upload it. So today I just thought yeah, I'll just quickly do this and I'll inform you, I'll tell you guys that actually whatever GATE score you have got, if you have qualified GATE exam, that means you are eligible to apply uh, uh, for PhD admission through this particular GATE, right? Now before this also I have made few more videos on this like in the last year when GATE exam happened but it was necessary to make this particular video because uh, there are few more additions into it, there are few more uh, rectifications in the video. So that's why we are going to discuss over there. Okay. So with GATE, when you qualify GATE exam, you become eligible to apply into uh, institutes which are uh, like basically AICTE funded. Means those who are those who does not comes under UGC. In all those institutes, you are actually eligible to apply. Uh, UGC institute comes under like a university. So you cannot apply into universities just with the help of your GATE score. Okay. So you are not eligible for, to apply in universities. Okay? The, here you cannot apply directly through GATE score. Uh, for universities, the process is totally different. What I am going to talk about today is what you can do with the GATE score. Now, there are so many range of students. Some have got very good GATE score. Some have just qualified the GATE exam. They are worried about it. And what is going to happen? What I can do with my GATE score? So stay tuned to this video. Please watch it till end. Everything will be cleared up. And now without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. Alright, so here are the list of institutes uh, for which you become eligible once you uh, qualify the GATE exam. First thing is IASC, IASC Indian Institute of uh, Science that is in Bangalore. You are eligible to apply for there. Then comes IITs, Indian Institute of Technologies. Then ISERS, Indian Institute of Scientific Education and Research. And then comes some DST funded institute. Department of Science and Technology has funded some institutes in India. They have made some institute which are highly... Uh, like motivated towards research they are like directed only towards research a lot of research work is being done over there and these are very good institutes if you are thinking of taking like if you are thinking of going into research after your uh, gate right and the next thing is your NISER and NIPERS so NISER is National Institute of uh, Science Education and Research uh, NIPER is NICE, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research so NISER is just one that is in Bhubaneswar but there are few more NIPERS they, these I'll be talking about then comes your NITs, okay, National Institute of Technologies. So if you have a GATE score, depending upon what and in which rank or in which range your GATE score is, you can take admission in these institute. I will discuss about it more in detail. So first priority is given to those who are GATE plus JRF qualified. So if you have qualified GATE, be it any rank and if you have also JRF with that, then you comes under the top creamy layer of the students which can take admission anywhere, which can apply for uh, admission in all the institutes whichever I mentioned okay so in all these type of institute you can uh, apply for admission if you like you are eligible to apply uh, like uh, once you have gate plus JRF qualified so that's what it is so gate plus JRF becomes the most creamy layer okay first thing is that uh, this admission uh, or, or whether you will be taken into that particular institute does not depends just on your qualification or just on your uh, marks of gate or marks of your uh, net or JRF, it also depends upon your interview. Okay, your interview becomes very important. Those things we'll talk at the end of this video. So I'll I'll, I'll just quickly disintegrate the number of or the type of students. So the first type of students are gate plus JRF qualified. The next type of students comes which are gate plus net qualified. Okay, in this there will be two range of students. Those who have good ra gate rank means those who have good gate rank right and those who have like th those who have just qualified the gate exam now this good gate rank means the rank which is under 500 under 800 so that comes under good gate rank and uh, then the one who have just qualified so it goes from a range of around 1000 till 2000 3000 something like that 
only gate qualified comes at the end so those students who have just qualified gate in those also who have got good rank means those who have got good ranks means those whose rank is less than let's say 800 okay those whose rank is less than 800 they comes over here okay, in the only uh, gate qualified now uh, that's how you can understand that where you lie okay so those who are gate plus grf qualified they can apply anywhere in all the institutes uh, you are eligible to apply just look upon their application process whenever it is coming i'll notify you over there like over on this particular channel so you'll get notifi notified about that but just keep checking the websites of these institutes once you see the application process just apply for that gate plus net also try the same thing okay whatever your gate rank is you should apply actually because all the thing at the later stage depends upon your interview performance how you are performing on interview and your sop these are the two very important things which depends that whether you are going to get selected or not so i'll quickly show you the list of iits first of all okay so these are like 22 iits uh, which are there in india and out of these iits i'll just star mark few of them these star marked iits will be for those who have good gate rank good gate rank means the rank which is under 800 under 500 something like that okay so those people can apply in these iits which i'm just marking as a star over here so iit bombay iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit madras and iit delhi these are some institutes where if your rank reaches like for iit bombay your rank should be somewhere around 600 or less okay so your rank should be somewhere around this same goes for iit kanpur also for iit kharagpur your rank can be up till 800 for IIT Madras, your rank can be around 1000 and same goes for Delhi also. For IIT Guwahati, your rank is around one, uh, like 1200 and like that it goes, okay. So, it just, you can consider this list and from here, like from IIT Gandhinagar till this, from here to here, these institutes you can apply if you are just gate qualified also, okay. If you are just gate qualified, you can apply in these institutes. There are so many examples which we have in the previous years. Uh, students who have qualified a uh, gate only and their rank were something around 2000 or 1900 and uh, 2100 something around that and they got admission in these institutes so just make a note of all these institutes if you are just gate qualified so these which i have just made in a bracket form these all iits you can apply and rest of the things will depend upon your interview performance that how you are performing in the interview that is going to decide that whether you are going to get admission in these iits or not Okay, so that is something which you have to uh, like uh, make note of that your interview performance is now the uh, deciding factor. Whatever is done in the gate is done. Now, let me talk about ISERs. Okay, so some are the top ISERs or basically ISERs are the place where you should go for if you are interested in research. ISER are the institutes which are made entirely for research purpose only. So, if you are interested in doing research, a uh, very dedicated research, then ISERs are the place where you should target. Aizar Pune, Aizar Kolkata, Aizar Bhopal, Aizar Tiruvananthapuram, Aizar Tirupati and Aizar Behrampur. These are six Aizars which we have in India. Among these, the top Aizars like Aizar Pune, Aizar Kolkata and Aizar Bhopal. These are the ones which take admission based on gate plus net. Uh, they have changed the criteria. They have made the criteria in this way that they will not take only gate qualified student. So, last year, that's what I am telling for the last year. This year, if the form comes, Whenever the notification come, I will notify you about that. But yeah, you have to keep an eye on that particular thing also. What is their eligibility criteria? If they are allowing admission for gate only qualified student, then you should apply for it. Aizar Tirupati, Aizar Tiruvananthapuram and Aizar Behrampur, as, as of what I know, they can take admission just based upon your gate score. So it changes every year. It fluctuates because of high competition. They have changed the eligibility criteria to gate plus net. Okay at least gate plus net so in gate plus net also now that's what is the qualifying criteria after that everything depends on how you are performing in the interview next we have some dst funded institutes dst is department of science and technology as i already told you so there are four institutes which i know which resonates with the chemistry people there are so many institutes which are dst funded but i'm here to talking about only for the chemistry people okay there are other institutes for physics for mathematics for astrophysics those are different institutes i am only talking about those which are there for chemistry so the first one is cens bangalore okay so cens center for nano and soft matter uh, sciences and that's one of the institute then you have iacs it's a very famous institute indian association for 
कल्टिवेशन ऑफ साइंस देन कम्स योर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नैनो साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई एन एस टी मोहाली देन कम्स योर जे एन सी ए एस आर जवाहरलाल नेहरू सेंटर फॉर एडवांस साइंस एंड रिसर्च तो दीज आर फोर इंस्टीट्यूट वेयर यू कैन टारगेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन डी एस टी फंडेड इंस्टीट्यूट एवरीथिंग इज कॉमन इन ऑल ऑफ दैम द ओनली थिंग इज द फंडिंग एजेंसीज आर डिफरेंट ओवर देयर एम एच आर डी फंड फॉर आइजर्स दैन ए आई सी टी फंड फॉर आई आई टीज एयर डी एस टी फंड फॉर योर डी एस टी फंडेड इंस्टीट्यूट अगेन आई एम टेलिंग दैट दीज इंस्टीट्यूट हैव देयर ओन क्राइटेरिया यू हैव टू लुक अपॉन देयर एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस दैट वेदर वॉट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर वेदर दे आर आस्किंग फॉर गेट क्वालिफाइड ओनली और गेट प्लस नेट क्वालिफाइड यू कैन अप्लाई इन ऑल दीज इंस्टीट्यूट इफ द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया मीट्स यू ओके इन द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया दे विल नॉट मैंशन दैट वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द रैंक वॉट इज द गेट रैंक दे विल जस्ट आस गेट गेट क्वालिफाइड सो इफ दे आर आस्किंग गेट क्वालिफाइड यू शुड अपलाई फॉर इट वॉट एवर योर रैंक इज इफ योर रैंक इज टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डजेंट मैटर जस्ट अपलाई फॉर इट गो फॉर द इंटरव्यू इन द इंटरव्यू जस्ट गिव आउट योर परफॉर्मेंस लाइक लाइक जस्ट गिव द इंटरव्यू इन अ बेटर वे एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर इंटरव्यू परफॉर्मेंस एंड योर एस ओ पी मीन्स स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज ओके सो दीज आर द टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ऑन विच ऑल ऑफ योर लाइक एडमिशन इज गोइंग टू डिपेंड आफ्टर क्वालिफाइंग और आफ्टर योर गेट राइट At the end, let's talk about Nizer and Nipers. So Nizer is, uh, as I told, it's National Institute of Science, Education and Research. It's in Bhubaneswar. So this is only one Nizer in India, and this is DAE funded. Means the funding agency is different over here. Department of Atomic Energy funds to this. Apart from that, we have Nipers also. Nipers are National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. So these are seven Nipers which we have: Niper Hyderabad, Niper Mohali, Niper Kolkata, Niper Guwahati. Niper Ahmedabad, Niper Raiburi, and Niper Haji. So these are two new addition to the Niper list. In Niper, I should specify this thing that Niper only deals with pharmaceutical research. So if you are interested in like uh, drug discovery and organic chemistry, so for them this Nipers are there. Okay. So Niper is not for physical chemistry students. Means those who are interested in physical chemistry, nano chemistry. For them, Niper is not there. Okay. Niper is for organic chemistry students. Those who are interested in drug discovery. uh those who are interested in bio inorganic bio organic so for them nipers are good place to apply for okay and at the end comes your all nits so i have not made a list of them but you can apply in any nit uh wherever chemistry people are being asked now nits as such are the you can go for nits at the last when you are not having any other option you can go for nits to take admission but uh like there are some good nits as well like nit varangal is there there are certain good nits but but one thing which i should mention over here is that nits are more oriented towards uh, technological things means for btech people right or mtech people so for pure sciences means for chemistry nits does not provide that much good infrastructure they do not provide that much quality research but apart from this all the other institutes which i told you these are highly uh, like research oriented institutes and you can choose any one of them depending upon your score now uh, the thing which i wanted to discuss is regarding your interview right so many people don't know about this but once you become eligible to apply in a particular institute you should apply for that particular institute after that everything what depends are on two factors one is on your interview and uh, one is on your interview and the other one is on your statement of purpose now both these things interview and statement of purpose resonate around single thing that is your topic of interest okay topic of interest so what's your topic of interest in which topic you are interested to do your research remember whenever you are deciding it whenever you are planning this this should be very clear to you many people are there who qualify the exam who want to take admission in phd but they don't know what topic of interest they want to choose or which topic they are interested into that's where the problem starts in the interview you won't be able to express your topic of interest and if the topic of interest will not be clear with you your chances of getting admission becomes very less okay so your topic of interest should be very clear means what topic you want to take uh, or what topic you want to do research then sop tells that uh, what you are planning to do research in that particular topic let's say my topic of interest is supramolecular chemistry so my sop will tell me uh, tell the interviewers or tell the institute that in supramolecular chemistry what are my plans to do research okay or what are my plans to do further okay now sop for sop i have made already video on that i'll give you link for that so in that you have to go to the time stamp and you have to watch the part where i have discussed about sop okay i'll give you link in the description of this video 
and also in the i button so you can watch that so sop talks about that how you are interested into the topic how your interest develops into the topic what are your future plans to work in that topic and that's what it is okay interview tells the interviewer that how much knowledge you have that of that particular topic if you are telling supramolecular chemistry in the interview they are going to judge that whether you have basic knowledge of that topic or not now interviews does not mean that the topic is going to be asked in so much deep or they are going to ask so difficult question it does not happen like that interview always resonate along the basics of it so they just want that basic should be clear to you so choose a topic of interest very wisely now topic of interest i'll suggest that choose at least at least two topic of interest you should choose at least one or two means if you are choosing supramolecular chemistry something similar to that like uh, organometallic catalysis right that's one more thing so that's how you have to choose two topics which are quite similar to it why i'm telling this because it might happen that in an institute when you are applying let's say you are applying for iit bombay and there is no lab in iit bombay who is working in supramolecular chemistry then you can change or you can just modulate your topic of interest as uh, uh, organometallic catalysis so the, your topic does not become very much different from each other still uh, like uh, you will be eligible to apply in that particular institute so whether you will be selected in that institute or not depends upon two factors one i told you that is your topic of interest secondly that whether they have a seat for that particular topic in their institute or not whether any lab is working on that topic or not let's say if your topic topic of interest goes very like uh, specific let's say you are on ch activation uh, you want to do research on ch activation and there is no lab who is working on ch activation then they are definitely not going to take you because you will not be useful for their institute right so consider it like this that whenever you are going for an interview look upon their profile see what topic they are uh, doing research on and your topic of interest whether it resonates with their or not if it resonates or if it is similar to them then apply for that particular institute go for the interview tell about your interest explain them that what you want to do research and that's how you will be definitely selected into your uh, into the uh, that particular institute right so that is the key to get admission to gate or through any exam and pass any interview right more about this i'll discuss in a separate video though that i will do for a separate part but for this video i just wanted to inform that what are the possibilities or what are the institutes which you have which actually you can target upon considering your gate score considering your gate marks i have not divided this video into this gate rank which should go for there this gate rank should go for there because i don't want to create that particular division here it, the things are very simple the institute names i have already given to you you just have to look upon the institute if you meet the eligibility go for it apply for it that's the mo most important thing and let the interviewer decide that whether you will be selected or not right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one and uh, if you guys have any specific question you can ask that in the comment section below uh, if you want any specific video that also you can ask me in the comment section below so thank you so much and all the best for your admissions hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much